Every day, hundreds of cans of beer roll off the assembly line at the Austin Beer Works Brewery. The locally made beer is shipped to area stores. It's also poured out and served up in the brewery tap room. While it's okay to have a taste here, current state law does not allow businesses the size of Austin Beer Works to let customers take a sample home with them. That sudsy dilemma came as a surprise for this couple visiting Tuesday afternoon. At the grocery store, you can't taste it. So you're like, at the grocery store, am I going to like this beer? Am I not going to like this beer? You know, that, so you come to the brewery specifically to taste it, and then you can't buy it to take it home with you. At the state capitol news conference Tuesday, a plan to change the law was endorsed by the Texas Craft Brewers Guild and the Beer Alliance of Texas. You can go to a Texas winery and, and get a bottle of wine to go. When you can drink a, a glass of wine and you can t buy a bottle, take it to go. You can do the same thing at a brew pub and at a distillery. There is no reason why you shouldn't be able to do this in a brewery in Texas. The identical House and Senate bills are part of a bipartisan effort. The legislation adds the words off-premise consumption. That would allow medium-sized breweries to sell beer to go from their tap rooms. The legislation represents a rare thing in politics nowadays compromise. It protects what's known as the three-tier system for distributors, but also provides brewers with some much-needed flexibility. As part of the compromise, only up to two cases of beer per person per day can be sold on site. Both sides also agree not to try to lobby for changes in production caps for the next 12 years. There's 7,000 breweries in the country right now, and only 100 of them can't sell beer to go. 100 breweries in Texas. Michael Graham, co-owner at Austin Beer Works, says the change is about growth, not necessarily sales from the tap room. So while it's a small volume, it's a huge marketing opportunity for us, and I think it would really help every brewer in the state. Even small operations that have not expanded for fear of losing the ability to sell on site may now be able to increase production.